We first saw the gamut warning in the view menu, and then later we took a look at it in the preferences menu under transparency and gamut settings. But in this video, I'm going to explain to you exactly what gamut means and why it's important. The word gamut is derived from the ancient Greek music scale. In music, the lowest note on the scale is G, or as the Greeks knew it, gamma. The suffix ut means outside. So if you put them together, you have gamma ut, or gamut, which means outside G. So in the case of a music scale, your gamut runs from A all the way to G. When I talk about the gamut of a specific color palette in photography, I'm referring to the total range of colors within that workspace. Therefore, an out-of-gamut warning would indicate when colors are present in our image, which the current color space cannot display. Let me show you what I mean. We'll start off with the most basic image mode, which is bitmap image mode, often referred to as a one-bit image. You can see over here in Kenny's face that it appears gray, but as we zoom in and take a look on the pixel level, you can see that there actually are no gray pixels. You only have black or white pixels. And in a bitmap image, that's all we're capable of. So out of gamut for a bitmap image would be any color other than black or white. This is a two color gamut. If we go out one step and include all the different shades of gray, when we zoom in here, you can see that we have a subtle blending of black pixels, white pixels, and then all the shades in between that form this gray. So for this image, anything out of gamut would be color. Let me show you right here. I'll pick a color, say blue for instance. Select the color blue and I'm drawing in here, but as you can see, I can't draw blue because that's out of the gamut of this image. Now I'm gonna undo that and switch over to RGB color mode. Once we're in RGB color mode, the blue draws just fine because now we're working with a much larger palette of color. So why does this matter? Well, there are two areas in Photoshop where this is gonna make a difference. The first area where it matters is not such a big deal these days, and that is web design. Initially, anything that you would build on a computer had a much smaller color space. First, we were limited to the one bit color, and slowly we graduated to 16 and 256, but now the internet in its current state can display several million colors. And strictly speaking, there is a color space that has been designated as the optimum web design color space. If you click over to the right and bring up our color picker, right down here, you can check off a box that says only web colors. And that makes it so that any color that you select is a part of this web safe color space. So that's one area where the gamut matters, but it really doesn't matter because you can just as easily check this off. And when you save something for web, you're gonna get a reasonable equivalent to every one of these colors whether or not you're using it. Now the second area where it makes a difference, and this is gonna be more prevalent throughout your Photoshop career, is if you're doing work for print. As we talked about before, the RGB color space, which you'll work in most often in Photoshop, is designed specifically for display of color on monitors. But when you're going to print, you're printing in the CMYK color space. So this is where gamut comes in. If you look up here in the top right in your color panel, you'll see a warning symbol here and that just tells you that the color that you have currently selected is out of the gamut for printing. Now there's a little box next to it, and if you check that box, it'll switch it to the nearest neighbor that is within the CMYK gamut. So let's just zoom out here a little bit and take a look at this again. More often than not, the out of gamut colors are brighter colors. So if your saturation is particularly high, odds are that's not gonna show up when it goes to print. The way that we can check and see if our colors are out of gamut is by coming up to the view menu and clicking on gamut warning. Surprisingly, this image doesn't have many colors that are out of the gamut. Uh, if you look down here on the bottom left hand side, you see there's a few colors. You can see some gray inside the yellow where the lights were particularly bright. And there's a little bit more down here on the red clamp. Essentially, the gamut warning is gonna show up whatever color you designate in the preferences menu. Let me just come up here and, and get us a better color. Go up to transparency and gamut, and then instead of gray, we're gonna make that bright red so we know really where we need some work. Once we hit okay, all of the areas that were out of the gamut now show up in some shade of red depending on how far out of the gamut they are. If we move up here and check out this bottom clamp. You can see there are a lot of bright red areas here that just show us that this is far out of the gamut for printing. So the easiest way to, to, to alter these colors so that they're within the gamut is to adjust the saturation. I'm gonna come over here to the adjustments panel and just click on hue and saturation. The reason that I do it this way is so that I'm not destroying the original image. If I were to just go up here and select image adjustments, 
then anything that I do is gonna destroy the information that's in our original image. Whereas any adjustments that I make on an additional adjustment layer, I can turn the saturation all the way up and then I can just turn that off and I haven't lost any of the information contained in my original image. So this is where we're gonna adjust and I'm gonna bring the saturation down. As you can see, when I brought it way up, a lot of this image turned red and that's partially because with the saturation enhanced that much, many of the colors that are now displayed are out of the gamut for print. And additionally, since we brought up the saturation, the colors are going to become brighter anyway. So let's drop the saturation back to zero here so we know where we're starting from. And then I'm just gonna slowly bring the saturation down. And as you can see, and let me zoom in here real quick on, on this clamp here. And I'm gonna pull the saturation down. And as I do that, you'll see that the bright red out of gamut warning disappears. Adjusting the color in your image can easily be an entire course all by itself. Unfortunately, that's a little out of the scope of this video, but now you know what gamut really means in basic terms, and you know why it's important and how to adjust your image to bring it into the proper range of color. Well, that's all for now. Please remember to comment, rate, and subscribe below, and send any questions that you might have to request at mahalo.com. Thanks for watching.